Today I'm going to can some pineapple, so I thought I'd bring you along. I will link the recipe I'm going to use down below, or the directions. It's from one of the extension offices, so it's a tested recipe. And it's a water bath recipe, so if you don't have a pressure canner, you can still do this. I got these at Aldi. They were 89 cents. We've actually eaten a few already, and they were amazing. So I'm really looking forward to canning these. I'm also going to use the scraps to make an apple, a pineapple jam. So that would probably be a separate video. But anyway, I'm going to just scrub the outside of these and get them all nice and clean first. Okay, and here's a pro tip. If you ever bring boxes like this home from a store, get them out of your house as soon as possible. Uh, especially something like this tropical fruit, I guarantee you there's something in this cardboard that you don't want hatching in your house. So I'm going to put this right outside. I actually used to work in a hospital and there were parts of the hospital where you were not allowed to bring cardboard boxes. Even though everything that gets shipped to the hospital comes in a cardboard box, they wanted you to take it out of the cardboard box and load it into like plastic totes so that you didn't have to bring cardboard boxes into certain areas. So anyway, I got this gadget. It was like five dollars um, on Amazon and you just cut the pineapple um, top off and then you can screw that in and pull out all the flesh so that's what I'm gonna do next and I'm also going to let me get my pan out I'm gonna save as much juice as I can so I'm hoping to get enough juice to pack the pineapples in the juice from the pineapple I've heard people say that they've had plenty of juice to do that um, and if not I can top it off with water and so I've got my pan here. This is what I'm going to warm my pineapple up before I put it in. So I'll just pour the juice in there and then I'll cut up the fruit and put it in here. So let's get started with that. And then after I get all of the fruit prepared, that's when I will stop, take a minute, clean up, and then I'll set up my canning station. Let's cut off the top. Line this up. And just screw. And this actually cuts really easily. I wasn't sure if I would like this kind of gadget. Because I thought, you know, you really have to crank it. But it cuts through really easily. I'm going to try to not cut all the way through the bottom. Just so it's less messy. That's why I wash the outside when it comes to like cantaloupes or watermelon or pineapple. Um, even though you don't really eat the rind or anything like that, you don't really come even close to eating the rind, I still like it because it keeps my um, cutting board clean and also as you cut into things, anything that's on the surface gets dragged through on the knife. So let's see, I think that's most of the way down. You can kind of feel it as you crank it. And just pull it out like that pretty simple and you can take the handle off and just do like that pour the juice in here and see if I can get the core out I'm gonna send the cores through my juicer try to get the juice out of them as well so I'll have plenty of juice to pack the fruit in and then these I'm going to set aside I'm going to use a spoon and scrape every bit of that good stuff out and that's what I'm going to use to make my pineapple jam so actually I put these all over on the back counter so now I just need to do that seven more times get what I can out of these tops because it looks like there's at least something. I'm going to use a melon baller. I feel like maybe it has a nice sharp edge so that I can get 
I either use this for the jam or just send it through my juicer to get extra juice. Now I'll send all this through the juicer. I actually juiced the cores of a couple pineapples that we ate. And there's a good amount of juice in there. So don't want to waste that. three cups of pineapple juice just from the cores of eight pineapples. That's awesome. There's probably two, whoops, two cups in there. All right, so I have my juice. I'm gonna start warming it up. And I also have my canner here. It's starting to warm up and I have my jars in the oven down there. I wash them in the dishwasher, but I'm just keeping them warm in the oven. I find it easier to keep them warm in the oven rather than in the canner. Over here, I'm gonna get this station ready. All right, I think I have everything I need laid out. I have my juice in this pan and I'm starting to warm it and then I'll put the pineapple in and simmer it for 10 minutes so looks like this juice is coming up i'm gonna also get my kettle on i have like an electric kettle like this i find it helpful to always have boiling water so i can use this to top up my canner or top up the jars if i don't have enough liquid So there's not enough liquid to cover, so I'm going to top off with hot water. The liquid is right just down there, so I'll probably add maybe like two cups of water to bring this level up so that I can simmer this. That's what it looks like. As the fruit cooks a little bit, it will go down and release liquid, so I think this will be good. It is starting to heat pretty well. So once this comes up to a simmer, I will time it for 10 minutes and then we'll start filling jars. All right, so here's the pineapple simmering. And you can see how it's, now it's nicely covered with liquid. So hopefully I have enough. And it's looking really good. My house smells very pineapple-y. So let that finish simmering and then we'll start packing our jars. of home canned pineapple. So if you can pineapple, I'd love to know how you use this um, and how you kind of adjust it because these quarts are a little bit bigger than the commercial can of pineapple. I was actually considering doing pint and a half jars, but I didn't have any pint and a half jars. So I just went ahead and used the quart jars that I have, um, but I'm sure I can find a use for it. I'd like to hear in the comments down below how you would use all of this beautiful home canned pineapple, what kind of recipes or how you would eat it, what you would add it to or what you would add to it. All right, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.